Hello, this is again, it's Apostle Patrick T. Randolph thanking you for joining me on another episode of I Care, wanting you to know that I care for you, but the greatest care comes from our living God. He loves you so much. He does fantastic, awesome things for you, and I'll tell you things that will change your life. So as God is in your life, you can expect wonderful things to happen in your life as you submit yourself, yield yourself to his leadership because, you know, everything in the earth, it belongs to God. God owns all things. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the scripture says. But you know what he's done? He's given the earth to the children of men. Wow. So what does that mean? That means God has given it to us to be stewards over, hallelujah, this earth and everything that's in this earth. God wants us to be, again, good stewards. And so as a good steward, I'm mindful of who owns it. I'm mindful of who owns what I'm a steward of. And so it's the living God, the almighty God, the heavenly father that owns this earth. And so we have to recognize the fact that it's his and then we follow his guidelines as to how we are to live and how we are to handle things in this earth. Now, remember again, if you don't like where you are in life, if you don't like how things are going on in your life, then what you have to do is to make a change. Amen. They will not change if you continue to do the same things that you've been doing. Amen. And so when we talk about doing things the same way, I'm not talking about when you make your confessions. I'm not talking about when you declare a thing. That's something you have to stay steady in what you believe. But there are some processes that we do, processes that we go through in our lives that need to be changed sometimes. There need to be some adjustments. Amen. So if you don't, again, don't like where you are, then you have to change what you're doing. Amen. So... Uh, as a steward, God has given me a house. I praise God for the house he's given me. I thank God for my cars. I thank God for uh, the material things that he's given me. But I am still a steward of those things. God truly owns everything again, and I am a steward. And if I get my mind right on that, listen to this. When I give back to God what he's given to me, the word of God declares that he keeps it. What do I mean he keeps it? The word of God declares that the Lord himself, watch this, will take care of those things, watch this, that I give to him. Not those things that I feel like I have to take care of myself, but the things I give unto him. You know, your life could be a whole lot easier, a whole lot easier if you really give your life to the Lord and give those things that you have to the Lord because the Lord wants you to have more and more and more. You know, the psalmist declared that you shall, the Lord shall bless you more and more, you and your children. So that's the mind of God. God wants you blessed. God wants you to have nice things, wonderful things. But you know that you're a steward of it. Amen. Now listen to this. You are not only a steward of your possession, you're a steward of the earth. What? That's right. You're a steward of those trees. You're a steward of the earth's ground. You're a steward of all these things. That's why one of the things that I, I detest about this earth right now is going is, is full of trash. This is what God has created. So we are to be stewards. We ought to not be trashy. Hallelujah. We ought to keep our trash and put our trash in a proper place. In other words, be steward-minded that I have to take care of this because it's God's. God is the one that's given it to me. Hallelujah. And that has to be my mindset at all times. And so the scripture teaches us, let me, let me share this with you in, uh, in Timothy, uh, 2 Timothy 3, 3rd chapter in the 16th verse. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Now, why would I read that? What does that have to do with anything? What does that particular scripture has to do with this? Well, what it has to do with it, again, is the word of God declares that we are stewards and we ought to honor and we ought to take care of the things of God. So when God speaks a word to us, that word becomes active in our lives. And when that word becomes active in our lives, we obey what that word says to us. So we cannot callously look at the earth. We cannot callously uh, pollute and, and all these things that's going on and mistreat animals and all the things that God's, that's God's creation. We have to have a mind to be good stewards of it all.